What is up and good morning again vlog. I'm not gonna lie, I was still in bed five minutes ago, but Shelby texted me. She said, what are you up to? I was like, nothing. Honestly, I'm still in bed. Then she sent the text, do you want to get breakfast since it's our rest day from lifting? I was like, well, of course. But do I know what it is? Where we're gonna go? Or what's gonna happen? If it even is breakfast, because she didn't text me. Is it weird that I want euros? And I was like, not gonna question it, but we're gonna see what happens. She should be on her way pretty shortly. We'll go along for it and we'll see where today takes us. Good morning, Chub. <laughs> Why are you so giggly? <laughs> Yesterday I was talking about how I'm on a bender and now you get in my car and this is the first thing to pause. <laughs> Content. Content. Me on a bender. Character development. It is character development because what? Literally like two months ago I was like I hate drinking. Never. So should we go to brunch somewhere? Sure. Where should we go? Have you been to Sweet Diner? I have not. What? I'll go to any, oh, I'll go to anywhere on your, your list or anywhere you want to try. Sweet diner is so good. Oh my god. I'm ready for it. It's right by Kylie's. Oh. We could invite Kylie. Does Kylie want to go? Yeah, let me call her. I'm sure she could add some content to the potential vlog oh, of she's some awesome. Shelby it's story. Right next to her. Let's call her. Let's see what she has to say. And then you'll get the you'll get the She'll Oakland like, Euro I'm story. I'm at the gym. Oh god, I'm excited. The Oakland Euro story was. Good morning vlog. I had a bender last night. Was fully developed. Hey, what are you doing? I am making breakfast. Stop doing that. <laughs> Why? We're going to Sweet Diner. You want to come? No, I can't. Let me tell you about my night. To be tested. Alrighty, let's break it down. <laughs> Where do we start? Um, we go to Exploring Brew Pub. Okay. Eat flights. You know, just cash. Catch. How are the wings? They were good. Okay, they're not breaded wings, so like okay. normally like that's not like my thing. But they were like really like fall off the bone. Like mm, those were good wings. Wicked hops aren't breaded, are they? They're definitely crispy. There's like a crispy outing. They're crispy, but like, I wouldn't say breaded. I don't know if it's breading, but like it's some sort of something. Nah. I think they're just like fried different. Yeah, because it's like the chicken skin Wait, itself. You, do you know is what crispy. I mean? Like. Or, yeah. Like the wings like don't have like that like crisp to them. Like they were very like actual like chickeny. Yeah. Even even yeah, that doesn't even make sense. I don't think. But they, yeah. they were really good. They I were, know what like, you mean. Actually saucy. Yeah. Um, what sauce did you get? Uh, Thai chili. Ooh. They were good. Switched. It was Kylie's choice. She switched it up. I was gonna get buffalo. Cause I was like, you didn't go buffalo or gold? I know, that's what I'm saying. But Kylie was like, you have to try this sauce. I would definitely prefer the buffalo, but like, the wing style was good. Just cause you're Japanese doesn't mean you have to hit the Thai. That's what Kylie said. Kylie was like, <laughs> we have to get an Asian sauce because we're Asian. And I was like, what? It's like, is that how it works? Uh, I don't think. I didn't think, think so. <laughs> I was like, um, I still prefer buffalo. And she's like, I don't like buffalo. I always have to get an Asian sauce. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't know the logic there. There's several sauces. Yeah. Might as well Kylie, branch it's out. It's Kylie logic. Kylie logic. Kylie's logic is... It's logic. Nope. Maybe not good logic, but it's logic. All right, so we did beer flights. Okay. And then after that, Kylie goes, let's go to Tiki for one. So it beer, never ends up well. So beer flights is like you add two pints. No, they were like four ounce little cups. Oh, like, so actually, you had... It was like, I had like, it was basically like the equivalent of a 12 ounce beer. The tiki. Okay. The, you had one shot. Just wait for it. We get to tiki, the fucking bar manager, dude. The one with the beard. Do you yeah. know what I'm talking about? Have you seen him? He's always yep. there. He goes, Shelby, you're back. That's the one I like forgot my ID. So like he knows I'm 20. Oh. He knows my age. And he's like, what are we doing? I was like, I'm gonna order a round of shots. And he's like, oh, no tequila soda. So I was like, two tequila sodas then. One for me, one for Sarah. And I was like, you can close me out. Starting a tab. What Just the? bought everyone's drinks. Bought everyone's drinks. What the hell's happening here? This is an abortion. Um, oh, that's an abortion place? 
Dude, they're that's... harassing the fuck they out do, of her. Yeah, that's why they have clinic escorts. No, but then <laughs> I literally bought everyone around a shot. Okay, what shot? Costume again, so oh, just straight, straight shooting it. Straight shooting it, wash yeah. it down with a tequila soda. Yep, exactly. Tequila washed down with water done tequila. Uh, Amazing, delish. delightful. Then we go to the Wicked Hop window, obviously. Shot a fireball with Tommy. Um, Gotta. Of course, you have to if you're gonna walk past and he's working. So me and Kylie take a fireball shot together. And then we. Like, I don't care to go into Nashville North, and I was like, awesome, let's go to Joe Cats. All the Joe Cats, like, the bouncer gives me a hug right away, and she's like, how the fuck do you know these people? Then I got free root beer bombs all night. We took, like, like, ten. So then Kylie gets there. My sister Shay ubers down. Anyways, went to Jackson. The bouncer outside Jax gave me a hug. Then literally Kylie and Shay and Peter and Maddie were all like, Shelby, what the fuck? How often do you come here? And I was like, I don't. <laughs> they were like, how do you know them then? Then, do you know Jack Chestnut? He lived on Frederick. Yeah. He was working upstairs. He poured us tequila shots. More tequila. More tequila. Then Kylie Ubered home. And then me and Maddie went to Bibs for one. Okay. Literally took like two shots with the bartender. His name's Max. He's one of my regulars. So he gave us free tequila. And again, I was literally just like, okay, I need to leave. And then Maddie was like, okay, we need to, like, Uber back to Kylie's. But, like, Kylie's not waking up. Go to the Wicked Hop. As you do. As we do. Another drink there. And then Kylie finally wakes up. And then I slept there until, like, 5 a.m. And then I was like, I need to leave. Fair enough. How many drinks did you have last night? Oh, God, I don't even want to talk about it. Way more than I should have. Because my guess is, like, a solid 10 plus. It was definitely 10 plus. I mean, literally before I even started, we had the like, beers at Explorium. Then I had a shot at Tiki. Well, because the beer, a... the beers, at, the f beer flight, I'll count as one. Okay, no, so that's one. And then the shot at Tiki. Then the tequila soda at Tiki. Then the shot at Wicked Hop. That's already four. Yeah. And then all the root beer bombs. That's already 10 plus. Oh, yeah. Nightmare. Really I bad. I honestly didn't know how many root beer bombs there were going to be. Because I don't know how long you are there for. Alright, so, well, we're still looking at the, the Oakland Euro store. So last weekend, we had some, like, or one of our roommates had friends from, like, home visiting. Yeah. We ended up going out to the bars. We got back at 1.30 in the morning. What do you do when you're drunk and you want food? Oakland Euros. Oakland Euros. That's what I did. So it was me, Paul, and Grant that came back to our house. Then me and, me and Paul were, like, Decently enough. Paul apparently was blacked out. Because he didn't remember one going to Brothers or going to Oakland Euros or ordering our lift home. I thought Paul was like maybe a six out of ten drunk. Okay. Grant, I thought Grant was in rough condition. But he spent like twenty dollars at Oakland Euros. And then we were just all like eating. Me and Paul went to Carol and Emily's. And like two days later, we were all just talking in our living room, me, Reese, and Riley. And Reese is like, yo, why is there just a tomato on our toilet? Like just a slab of tomato, just like sitting on the back of the toilet, <laughs> like behind the seat. Yeah. And we were like, you know, I don't really know. We were like, maybe someone like ordered Jimmy John or something. Yeah. The, the first theory was like, the one of the girls that was drunk was eating Subway on a toilet. Oh. And we were like, okay. That's fair. And then, like, the next day, Will's there. He goes, yo, why is there, like, Euro meat in the toilet? <laughs> in the toilet and, like, on the side of it. It was just, like, chilling there. And there's, like, a piece of Euro meat on the floor. So what happened? Well, we don't know yet. You and don't then, know? No. This is it? And then one morning, I was just, like, taking a pee in that bathroom. And I just looked at the trash can. And they are like, they still didn't know. It was, no one, like, confirmed that it was Grant yet. But then I'm like looking at the trash can, I'm like, yo, there's like the tinfoil wrapper of the Euro in here. There's a bag <laughs> covered in sauce. So we're like, illegitimately looks like he was potentially just yakking into the toilet and eating his Euro in between barfs. <laughs> That's the Oakland Euro story. That's horrifying. Alright, we're officially back from brunch. And honestly, since I just need shit to do today, I'm going to be Emptying the dishwasher, cleaning up the kitchen slightly, 
And then we're gonna start tackling the mess that is our living room. Because that couch is supposed to leave today. So is a fridge that is like tucked away back there. Yeah, that fridge. That fridge is leaving, this couch is leaving, maybe these chairs. All right, so we got our living room nice and cleaned up. This couch is leaving, so this couch and that fridge are leaving. So I just made sure to set them up to where this should just be easy to go out the door. That should be easy to go out the door. We can get this process done and going ASAP as possible. Also got our balcony cleaned up. Way better, way cleaner. Not gonna lie, I got a little sidetracked with the cleaning. And then we started a new project. So currently we are disassembling and repairing a Dyson vacuum cleaner. So it runs for more than five seconds. Not really sure how this is gonna go, but we can see. All right, so I have decided bottle walls gotta go. So honestly, it's just gonna be like time-lapse footage of the bottle wall getting disassembled. Honestly, I'm a little bored, and I feel like I haven't gotten enough exercise today, so we're gonna go for, I think it's like maybe a mile or two round trip of a walk. I'm just gonna go walk to go get some fro-yo a little bit, end up at a place called Beans and Barley. I got myself a uh, basic burrito. Can't say I've gotten anything from there before, but honestly, I think it's gonna be like maybe a five out of 10. Maybe a 6 out of 10, see how good it ends up being. The expectations are not high, but it is warm. So, let's just tear right into this. Um, kind of looks like a, feels like a steamy turd. Not gonna lie. Nope. That is just bland. I was just eating the color gray. Well, after a pretty disappointing burrito, I think the only thing left to do now is we're just gonna round out the night by editing the vlog footage from Saturday. Because it's Sunday. Probably not even get close to done with it. But at least start editing the footage and then we'll call it a night here for the vlog. See you guys in the next one.